Well everyone, there's the time and day is going to be the quick unboxing of the Tailtronics Super Active and Rotating Antenna. And this model right here includes the antenna, infrared receiver, and a box. And it does include a rotor. Take a look at the back. There are the features. And I'm not too sure what the exact description on Amazon is, but it does not include Tailtronics. You can also find this on eBay from many sellers, but they, again, they do not mention the brand. Let's open it up. Got this on Amazon. Currently sells on Amazon for about forty dollars, and as low as around thirty, just under thirty on eBay. There's the quick look. It's model TT zero A. No, excuse me, TT O A zero one. There it is right there. Shipping list. And there's a quick install. Instructions. That document can be found on the Amazon page in case you need it. Here's the product. I'm assuming this is probably the infrared box. Yup, that's infrared box. It has the cables in it. In the infrared box. Here's the 40 foot coaxial cable. It's a lot of cable. It's not white as in the picture though. It includes this cover right here so it'll protect it outside. You don't have to use that cable though. The infrared box and Signal rotor do not depend on using just one cable or that exact cable. I'm not sure what that is. It's probably the rotor. Here are the elements. Remote control. And there is the main unit itself. Is there antenna? Okay, so I guess it's plastic, unfortunately, even though it does look like metal. Of course, this part's metal and it locks over there. And this part flaps up. Let me demonstrate. Here's the actual reflector part. Now, this parabolic reflector opens this way since it's metal, of course. TV stations will be pointing out this way. Where we set it up. Unfortunately, because it's so cheap, you can see the shoddy craftsman work. There's some glue or who knows what junk there. And you can see there's glue residue right there. It's made of plastic. And this other one kind of flops around. So I hope it will hold up in the wind. And the good thing is that the coaxial cable is not soldered in there. It just has a standard jack in case you want to use your own cable or split it or whatever. There's a light there and it turns on. Here's the little pole you mount all these elements on right here. Mounting to attach to a pole, one inch diameter. Uh, for some reason it looks like the TV2 output is soldered in. I don't know why they would do that. So is the power supply. It does look like the power supply is polarized from antenna to TV1 to TV2. That was pretty odd that the soldered one's TV2, you would think it would be TV1. On, off, for power supply to the rotating. See right here on the unit, it only has one button to rotate. But the one over here has two buttons. But yeah, that's going to be it for the unboxing. Thanks for watching, everyone.